If you think about the impacts to clinical operations uh, during a ransomware attack, the adversaries go after the underlying infrastructure of an environment, and what they do is they shut down communications first. So one of the biggest challenges that organizations have is they can't email, they can't do overhead paging because those are IP-based. A lot of organizations have moved from paper-based processes to electronic processes, right? And because of that significant transformation, all workflows depend upon electronic processes. The adversaries have recognized that, and what they've recognized in the past few years is that they can really interrupt the uh, clinical operations. And because they can interrupt those clinical operations, they know that health systems will, in some scenarios, have to pay those ransomware payments because of the deep impact it has to patient safety, revenue, and brand reputation. One of the things that health systems, you know, really struggle with is, uh, you know, about nine different use cases that we focus on at Palo Alto Networks. So when you're looking at that, we've built some architectures that build out opportunities for organizations to adopt that are architecture ready, right, or merger and acquisition ready solutions for them. So that's one, where, one area that we focus. Another area that we focus is in security operations, right? So, you know, preparing and responding to uh, incidents that are happening with their environment, such as ransomware. So we've got an entire solution set around that as well. But I think the, the biggest part of the story is really the platform story. So if you look at a big, complex, largely integrated health system, um, you've got a, a need to do consolidation to reduce cost. And with that cost reduction, utilizing solutions across the platform, uh, eliminating many point-based solutions to one platform story. When we say IoT, we mean the Internet of Things, which means the smart devices that are connected onto the network. And there are two main kinds of IoT devices. One is the general purpose IoT devices, for example, your doorbell, thermostat, and another type of IoT devices are very specialized. For example, in hospitals, those are medical devices, like medical imaging systems, X-ray machines, MRI machines, ultrasound, ECG machines, and these medical devices are very mission critical for these for the hospital operations. At the same time, we discovered these medical devices can be very vulnerable. And actually, we look into many many medical devices and found the most vulnerable devices are the medical imaging systems. But some of these devices are also very vulnerable and very hard to protect. There's so many of these devices spread out throughout the whole hospital, and the risk surface of these machines are actually lo even larger because so many people are using them from doctors to nurses to patients, and you cannot expect users are all IT or cybersecurity experts. So how to protect and better secure these medical devices is actually a big challenge. What we're seeing, you know, last year is we saw much more sophisticated threats coming to market. Well, what we're seeing now is, is the threat actors are using automation and AI to take those more sophisticated threats and they're able to do much more volumes, which is becoming a big, big challenge for a lot of health systems today. When it comes to digital transformation uh, in a large institution like us, uh, well, it requires a lot of stamina, um, agility, and timeliness. And you have to be platform oriented to achieve digital transformation. And have to be aware of the fact that the organization, as you trans transforming digitally, also the organization is changing, expanding. The advantages of digital transformation healthcare is in quality, safety, efficiency, and experiences. Especially in experiences is around how patient and their family uses technology, digital technology to receive and access care, uh, how the clinician uses digital technology to provide care, and the rest of staff uses technology to really do their job at their best ability and quality.
So the way um, healthcare organizations are using AI today is, is really focused on a lot of research, genomics, and then if we look at the payer community as well, they're looking at utilizing that technology to reduce fraud, so insurance fraud against different claims that are happening. Um, the interesting part about that is I think this is an opportunity for a lot of health systems to get ahead from a cybersecurity perspective. We've been embedding AI into our products for many years here at Palo Alto Networks, and I think it's one of the opportunities that we have now to get one step or stay one step ahead of the adversaries, utilizing AI in the favor of the good guys. So the benefit of Palo Alto is we provide a platform. So not only we can identify your device, we can tell you what devices you have on your organization, we can do 24 by 7 continuous monitoring and detect any abnormal behaviors. And the most important thing is because we are connected with the firewall, we actually can take action in real world. If we see any device that is not doing the right thing, we can not only send alert to you, but we can actually quarantine, isolate this device before the malware is spread out. Well, there's been many attacks um, in healthcare industry, uh, some are quite devastating, where the institution had to cancel surgeries, stop providing care, divert their patients from emergency room because they couldn't provide safe and adequate care. So it can be really devastating, both not only to institution, but to the community. Having a robust cybersecurity strategy is critical for the institutions to protect uh, their critical asset, which is really uh, their digital platforms and having great partner technology partners to really help you to achieve your strategy what i see is i see health systems or or the healthcare community finally taking this very seriously i think it was an aha moment in here in 2024 early 2024 that organizations are going to double down on on investments um, those investments are going to look very foundational though and I think I really believe at Palo Alto Networks when we think about doing things like zero trust, platform consolidation, that's where a lot of organizations need to look at things, make things more simple and then take those uh, foundational practices and implement next generation AI, uh, things like security operations and platform transformation.